Hey YouTube, I'm about ready to do a soil sample. Well, I did a soil sample. I'm about ready to do a pH test on some soil samples I did at the cabin where we're going to plant some food plots. And uh, first thing I noticed about this kit, I bought it at Lowe's. It's called Soil Master by uh, Moser Lee. And uh, it costs $15. Now you can get soil sample kits for pretty, pretty cheap. Um, but they test uh, the pH only or some part of it. This tests um, pH plus nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. So I was pleased with that. And it comes with uh, tablets. You can buy more of the tablets. And the kit includes enough tablets to do 40 tests. So I was pretty uh, excited about that. Um, most kits are like a one-time deal. You just do it and you're done. And they cost like five bucks. So to get 40 tests and to get all of that information for $15, I thought that was a good deal. All right, I've got the kit open and it's got four vials, um, four different colors. Each color represents the different pieces, the pH, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And it tells you inside the book, um, This is I thought it was just an insert, but it's actually a book. It tells you how to uh, how to do it and what the different colors mean and what the results you'll get. Also in the book, which I was really excited about when I opened it, was it's it's very in depth. It tells you about soil, what is soil, um, how soil is made up, the organic matter inside of it, um, the nutrient ingredients, what is soil pH, and how to adjust it, how to use lime to lime or aluminum sulfate to bring it up or down, <coughs> how to fertilize and when, and for what kinds of items. It even tells you, uh, um, interpreting your results, how many pounds per square feet or pounds per acre the results means. And then over here it tells you what you should be adjusting it to for different kinds of plants and um, trees and bushes and fruits and lawns. I was, I was very, very pleased with what I got for the money. I really thought I, I wasn't going to get all this information. Um, so, um, just a kind of a kind of a shout out to the Soil Master Moser Lee kit from Lowe's. Um, I did buy this like two years ago, so hopefully they still sell it or an equivalent. But um, anyway, so I'm going to get started on my test. One of the things you need is distilled water. I just bought a jug of it, Myers. Um, I had to use it for some deep cycle batteries anyways. It cost me a dollar, dollar and ten cents. So, distilled water. That's what you'll be mixing your soil with inside the test tubes. Um, here are my soil samples. I have them divided by different food plots, different areas in the woods where I'm going to plant the food plots. <coughs> First thing I did is I scooped them into baggies. I had great big baggies at first, and uh, then I, I uh, laid those out. I took them out one baggie at a time and uh, put them on a plate in front of the window to dry out. Once they were dry, I was left with this, and I put them in two small baggies so I could do multiple tests of the same area if I had to. Um, I still have the option of mailing this in somewhere if I wanted to mail it in and have a test done at a testing facility, but I figured I'd try, try try doing this home kit that I had first. First step I have to do is take each of the vials, set them up next to this template, and draw black lines on them to mark the fill lines. So I'm going to get that done. Okay, I got each of my uh, test tubes marked with the fill lines. It says here the only uh, tools I'm going to need are um, the supplies that were included, a cup for the water, a spoon to scoop the soil, and a stopwatch or a timer or a clock of some kind. So I have a timer or stopwatch on my phone. I'll just use that. So let's get started.